Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run Python files and Python code on your Mac. Uh, so if you watched the previous video, you should have Python 3 installed on your computer. Um, and what we want to do is open up the terminal. Um, you can find the terminal from your spotlight search, which is either up here or command space on a Mac. Type terminal, hit enter. This will open up this command prompt for you. Now once you're in here, you can uh, type Python 3 to invoke uh, a Python 3 shell, and you can see uh, it prints the version right there, so make sure it says Python 3. Once that's running, you can actually write your Python code right in here. So we'll just say print hello from the shell, and you can hit enter and it will evaluate that. So this is called a read, evaluate, print loop, um, and this is an interactive way to write Python because uh, it reads what you've typed, it evaluates it and it prints out the result and then it loops around and waits for another command from you. So this will stay running as long as, uh, basically it will stay running until you quit it um, and you can just continue coding Python in this environment. Uh, when you're done, you type quit, open and closing parentheses uh, and enter and that shuts down the Python shell. So that's one way you can run Python. Um, the other thing you can do is, uh, I have a Python file over here on my desktop. You can see it's got a .py extension uh, showing it's a Python file. And you can see all it says here is print hello from the file. So um, I'm gonna move on to my desktop. And then um, you can see that file is right there. And I'm going to type Python 3. And then I'm gonna type start typing the name of that file and hit tab for autocomplete. Um, and then I'm gonna hit enter and you can see it evaluates that file and runs it right here in the terminal. Um, so it's Python 3 space, the name of the file and the .py extension and it executes the file right here for you. The other thing you can do is type Python 3 space and then you can drag the file in here and it will uh, copy and paste the path and then you can hit enter and it will still run that file for you. So those are a few different ways you can run Python on your Mac and we'll be using both of those ways um, just whatever you prefer, however you're more comfortable running your Python, um, go ahead and do that. So I will see you in the next tutorial.